Hi, hey, hello, gang. It is Frip season, and today I wanted to show you my lazy girl method <laughs> of preventing Frip's outbreaks. When I say lazy girl method, you can be any gender to use, use this method. The method is preventative mites. It's so, so easy. Like, I can't, I can't be dealing with, like, spraying, isolating, like treating the soil. I just, I did that for a while and I was never, ever, ever free of thrips. I think I first, I mean, me and thrips have had a whole journey. I, um, I first realized I had thrips on my original Monstera and I didn't do anything with it. I just thought mother nature will take its course. Sorry about the traffic. <laughs> Yeah, I thought Mother Nature would take its course. It'll sort itself out. I don't need to do anything. If you don't do anything with thrips, they will they will chow down on that plant. They will spread to all of your plants. You're not going to have happy plants. You do need to do something about it. So then I spent a couple of years spraying, wiping the leaves down, washing them off, isolating plants, trying to keep them separate from each other. And that's not fun. That's not how I want to be spending my time. And then I listened to um, Jane Perrone's podcast, On The Ledge, and it was an episode about beneficial bugs for treating houseplant pests. And I was like, I'm interested. I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. And I started talking to Tessa, who owns Ladybird Plant Care. I've worked with her a couple of times. Um, I have got links down below to the, the mites that I'm gonna use today. And that is an affiliate link, so if you, purchase through it, I'll earn a little commission and thank you very much if you do support me in that way. But I have not looked back. Beneficial bugs is the way to go for pest treatment, in my opinion. It just makes things so easy and Tessa's got an amazing service where I don't even have to think about it. So I get these sachets, I think I get 20, 20 sachets in the post every six weeks. It's a, a subscription service. I literally don't even need to think about it. I don't need to think about repeating the order. And for somebody with ADHD, that's really helpful because you know I'm gonna forget when I place the original order. Before she introduced the subscription service, I definitely had like, like three month old sachets out and about. <laughs> now I'm not gonna be doing the job. So the way these sachets work, they are slow release. So they inside, they have, um, beneficial mites. I don't know how many there's like estimated inside each sachet but there's also like a little bit of food in there for them and there's tiny teeny weeny teeny weeny little holes just there teeny weeny little holes and gradually over time the mites will emerge and they will hang out on your plant and they will eat the thrips larva and they do a really good job. So since using these, I have not had a thrips outbreak in like, it's, it must be over two years now at this point. And prior to that, I think I had thrips in my collection for about five years solid. <laughs> it's so nice to be thrips free. I did, I think last year, I keep getting hair in my mouth. <laughs> last year, I did see an adult thrip on one of my plants it must have come in through the window or something because I squished it and then that was the end of that. Like it must not have had time to lay its eggs or anything. So I am I am still quite vigilant for thrips, even though I do use these just because I've had such a long history with them now. Like I can spot them a mile off. What's important with treating for thrips is that you need to know about their life cycle. So an adult thrip will like pierce the, it will pierce the leaf and lay its eggs into the leaf tissue and so sprays and wiping down leaves cannot get rid of the eggs like it just can't so even if you think oh I've treated that plant I've sprayed it I've wiped it down I cannot see any adults or any larvae that plant's free of pests or thrips it's highly unlikely there are going to be eggs in the tissue and they are going to hatch and you're going to have the same problem all, all over again and I think that was partly my issue is I didn't quite understand that the eggs are laid into the leaf tissue like you can't remove them by wiping the leaves whereas like these mites even though you know they're not going into the, they're not rummaging in leaf tissue and eating the eggs 
but they are hanging out on those leaves and as soon as those eggs hatch they will eat that larvae so win-win in my opinion um these don't i don't think they're able to like kill adults i don't know they might be able to but i imagine because they're tiny like i'll put a little clip in now of them <laughs> they are teeny weeny you can barely see them with the naked eye and adult thrips you can see but i say this is like a preventative treatment or for like a very small infestation i have used um a different type of beneficial bug when i've just been overwhelmed with an actual thrips infestation i'll put a picture of that here and i'll link it down below as well it is it is on the pricey side but that was that was the thing like i used that the adults went and then i've been using the beneficial mites since and been pretty much thrips free for over two years so i'm gonna go around now and i'm gonna place the sachets on my plants and i'm gonna show you how easy this method is for keeping thrips out of your collection so I've got my sachets and I'm just literally going to go around and pop them around my plants. On the smaller ones, it can be a little bit tricky. Oh, see, a little bit tricky. <laughs> because there's not always somewhere to hang them. But there's that one. I'm going to put one up here because I have had thrips on this plant before and I remember it being a nightmare to try and get rid of. So I always put one on that pot. one up here and oh I've still got an oh, old one I always hang one on the back of this philodendron brazil which you can't see because of the fungus snap traps yeah. so that's an old one so I'm going to chuck that on the floor and put that in the bin after what's good is that um you can empty out the contents into like the compost and then recycle the packaging and you know you can't say the same about all the plastic that comes with sprays can you i'm gonna put some oh sorry i was not showing you i'm gonna put one here and what's really good is that i know leaving that sachet there those mites are going to come out and they are going to crawl all over that shelf <laughs> which might freak some people out but it doesn't freak me out at all i know that they are the good guys they are doing a great job at protecting my plants from thrips um i'm gonna put this one down here i'm gonna put one up here with these like i suppose it's not the prettiest having like, ha having these sachets dotted around but it's better than having thrips in your collection in my opinion There's an old one in the cabinet just there. So I'm gonna throw that on the floor, get rid of that. And I'm gonna replace that on there. Oh, there's another old one. Look at my queen leaf. She is doing the growing. There's that one. Um, yeah, that'll do in there. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you'll know that my Time on Stara doesn't have a home. So it's currently just sat on the sofa getting some sunlight. But there is a sachet for that one. Over here, my Hylia peperomioides has an old one on it. So I will take that out and put that one in there. I'll make sure that both of my um, Monstera Deliciosa cuttings get new sachets because, because of my experience <laughs> of having just, I mean, a thrips infestation for like five years on this plant. There's one for this one too. You can't even see them on there. You can see the fungus snap traps more. And I also always put some on my elbow because of my experience with thrips. How many is there on this one? That's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six and a christmas party hat <laughs> that is an unnecessary amount that definitely <laughs> i don't know how that's happened <laughs> definitely don't need that many on this plant so i've 
taking the old ones off and I'm going to put some new ones on. I'll just put that on there. And this one here. Um, and to be honest, two's probably okay because there isn't an active thrips infestation. So it's, it's literally just kind of management. <laughs> you can see my Mykonos has an old one on it. I will always, always, always put one on this one as well because the idea of getting thrips on this plant terrifies me. I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna water that one. So I'm just gonna pop it up there for now. <laughs> And that's it. Super quick, super simple. I'm done for the next six weeks until the next package comes with my bugs inside. I cannot stress enough how much time this has saved me. And I know they're probably, well, they, they are a bit more expensive than like buying sprays, but it's worth it. The, the extra cost is worth it for the, the time and energy this saves me because you know, isolating plants, putting them in the bathroom, treating them, wiping them down. That's exhausting. And I have not got, I've just not got the capacity to be doing that. So popping these sachets out every six weeks and just trusting them to do the job is, is the kind of plant parent that I am. And it works. It works for me. And I will continue to have those sachets in my collection. I think when it gets to winter, when thrips are slightly, you know, less out and about i might pause my subscription um and then restart it or maybe i might reduce reduce the amount of sachets i don't really know but i was thinking in the winter like well just as we were coming out of winter i was like i probably didn't need <laughs> these sachets throughout winter but then we were hitting spring and i was like i'm probably going to need them now um and they're working because i haven't had thrips i've bought new plants into my home I've had the windows open like yeah i I highly recommend. Please give it a go. As I said before, I've got a link in the description. It is an affiliate link. So thank you so much for supporting me. If you do purchase anything through that link, if you've made it this far, please hit the like button. It's really helpful for me on YouTube. If you don't know me already, my name's Amy. And if you don't know me and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as well. I put out plant content every week. I'm gonna be extra cheeky now. At the time of filming this video, I've got 780 subscribers and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, but I do have a goal to get to a thousand subscribers before I've had this YouTube channel for a year. That is at the beginning of August. So we are at the very beginning of June now. I've got two months, <laughs> two months to get 220 subscribers to hit that goal. And I would, what I, the cheeky bit is, is I am asking you to share my channel with your friends, with your family, with anybody that you think might find it helpful, might find it interesting, or is just, you know, nosy about other people's lives. It would mean the world to me if you could share my channel and, or, or share your favorite video, or just recommend me to somebody. I am so excited about this channel growing. When I started it last year, I didn't know what, what was gonna become of it. I didn't even know if I'd stick with it because, because I've got ADHD, I don't often stick with things. But I am and I love it. I love creating videos. I love chatting with you all. I love this. And if it can be something that can like help me earn a bit of money and become a part of my income. Wow, that would be amazing. So I, yeah, I'm being cheeky. If you could share my videos, that would be amazing. Thank you so much for doing so if you do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do use beneficial bugs or you're gonna try them because of this video, please let me know in the comments. I will see you in my next one. Bye.